Hello and welcome all of you to my YouTube channel Connecto Physics. So in today's topic, we are going to discuss about the difference between laser light and normal light. So this normal light, we are also call it as an ordinary light. So in the first part of laser, we have discussed about the abbreviation of laser and also we have discussed about the definition of laser. So as we know that laser means light amplification stimulated emission of radiation this is the full form of laser now we are going to discuss what are the what are the different properties of laser light and ordinary light so the first important property of laser light is so these are okay these are monochromatic okay so laser lights are monochromatic and also they are sharp this is one of the important property of laser monochromatic is nothing but which provides single frequency and single wavelength this phenomena we are going to call it as an monochromatic so in the case of ordinary light ordinary lights are we are going to call it as an polychromatic okay so polychromatic means they don't have single frequency or single wavelength okay and also they are not sharp so that's why we are going to call it as an polychromatic so the second point of laser is they are unidirectional okay so unidirectional means they travel only in one direction okay they travel only in one direction that is called unidirectional so what about the ordinary light means they are non unidirectional okay that means they are shows divergence property divergence means same thing that when the light ray will come out from the bulb it will get diverge okay so this phenomena we call it as an divergence but laser will will go in single direction so that's why that's called as unidirectional so third important property is they are highly intense highly intense okay so that's why we can say that highly dense highly intensity is nothing but their density is very high okay because of high density their intensity is very high and for ordinary light they are they have less intensity okay so this less less intensity intensity is due to the density is very less density is very less this is the third property and fourth property in laser so laser can be sharply focused with the help of laser beam we can focus very sharply okay but in the case of ordinary light what happen they cannot be sharp okay they cannot be sharply focused okay now in laser the fifth important property is laser light can travel hundreds of meter okay we can see that laser light can travel hundreds of meter but in the case of ordinary light what we are observing ordinary light can travel only a few meter okay okay so this ordinary light which can travel only few meter okay so ordinary light can travel few meter but in the case of laser we can see which can travel about hundreds of meter 
so last sixth important property we can see in the form of application so laser light we can use for laser cutting laser welding okay so we can use for medical application for communication purpose okay so many applications laser have but in the case of ordinary light we can see one of the important application that is we can use ordinary light in area illuminating area illumination or illuminating you can call it as a okay so these are the important properties of laser light and ordinary light so one one more time we are going to recall see the first important property hai laser jo hai monochromatic hai that means that they will have single frequency and with single wavelength in the case of polychromatic that means iska jo wavelength rata theek hai so the wavelength of this lights are like this and also you can see the frequency and the wavelength is like this so this is the difference between monochromatic and polychromatic unidirectional means they will travel only in one direction okay when you are going to switch on the laser light it will travel only in one di one direction but in the case of an ordinary light you can take an example of bulb when you are going to switch on the bulb what happen it will get diverge in all the area of that room or particular area so that is non unidirectional so these are the highly intense and they are less less intensity okay so fourth important point is sharply focused and they are not sharply focused so laser can travel hundreds of meter and they can travel few meter okay so this is the difference between laser light and ordinary light so if you like my video please subscribe and share the video so thank you